Hey everyone, Truett Smith here with Smoking Pipes. Today we're gonna to be talking about flake tobacco and specifically how to pack it into your pipe. We've already discussed ribbon tobacco, but flake tobacco adds one extra step in that process. Now some of you, especially beginners, might be wondering why exactly you should smoke flake tobacco or why would you want to um, when you can just rely on ribbons and avoid any extra steps in the packing process. And the simple answer is, is flavor. There's different flavor profiles with flake tobacco, even if it has the same components, the same ratios as a ribbon cut blend. And that's simply due to the process, which involves pressing the tobacco under pressure for a long period of time till it sticks together into a giant block that, that's then cut into flakes. And that pressure changes the characteristic of the tobacco. It changes the flavor profile slightly, and it also makes it better when aging. A lot of pipe smokers find that their flake cut blends or their plugs and other cuts that are put under pressure age significantly better than just a ribbon cut tobacco. So today we're gonna to be talking about how to pack flake cut tobacco. And like I said, it involves basically just one more step. Um, and that, this method is called the rub out method. There's also the fold and stuff method, which we won't be covering today, but the, the rub out method is when you're simply rubbing out the flake into a ribbon cut and then packing it as you would a ribbon cut. So I'll show you that now. Now I've got a pretty small pipe here and I've got plenty of flakes. So I'm actually gonna just portion off about two thirds of one of these flakes. Um, and the next step is to crumble it up in your hand and just rub it out until it's loose and looks like a standard ribbon cut. So the way I rub out a flake is pretty straightforward. I'm just crushing it in my hand. Sometimes going in circles to loosen it up and then dropping it in front, pinching it a little bit more to break it up. And at this point, you're gonna have to kind of judge if this is enough tobacco for you. So you might have to rub out a little bit more. Um, you might not use all of this, so you can put it back in the jar or whatever. You also wanna judge the moisture level of the tobacco after you've rubbed it out. This feels very good to me, so I'm ready to pack this and light it, but you might find it to be a little on the moist side, so you might wanna set it aside for a couple minutes to dry. Um, it's also generally just nice to aerate the tobacco, let it breathe for a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and pack this right now. As I did in the how to pack ribbon cut tobacco, I'm gonna do the same method here. The gravity method, as we called it, is simply sprinkling it on top, applying a little bit of pressure just to even out the tobacco. Once I feel resistance though, I'm stopping. One thing you always wanna make sure to do is check the airway. You don't want a ton of resistance, we're good there. And then I'm gonna do that process again pushing it down, this time a little bit tighter, a little bit more pressure on there. Check the airway, still good. And then the last little bit. Could have rubbed out a little bit more tobacco in this specific instance, but it's all good. In this final time, I'm gonna apply the most pressure out of all the times, but I'm still not pile driving it. I'm not trying to force it down to the bottom of the chamber. I just wanna create multiple layers of density to help with the combustion of the tobacco. One final check, airway is good. So now we're ready to light. So you'll notice the tobacco rises up after you've lit it. So I'm just gonna tamp it down, get it a little bit more even. It's okay if the, if the ember goes out, we're not worried about that right now. We're just worried about priming the tobacco and the pipe for the best possible smoke. One more light. And we're good to go. Go ahead and check out Smoking Pipes and our tobacco locator tool on the website to find our entire selection of flake tobaccos. Try some new blends today, try out this method. Let us know what you think. Let us know in the comments if you have any specific methods that you've developed over the years. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.